In today's video, I will be discussing how I use speed lights to freeze motion and show you how I created these images. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So in this video, I am taking you behind the scenes during an actual shoot. I had the privilege of shooting a gold medalist figure skater. Her name is Sofia Frank, based in the US but representing the Philippine national team. And I wanted to take pictures of her in action. However, the biggest concern was I had about a few minutes, about 15 minutes during their practice session and the rink was open to the public. So given that situation, I had to scratch off using my big studio lights because number one, I had no access to electricity. I could have used my Photix Indra, which had a power pack, but again, since it was gonna be on the ice, I didn't want it to be that heavy. So these speed lights would actually be perfect, but there was a problem with that. The concept behind freezing motion using flash photography is based on flash duration. So you want the flash to be as fast as possible to freeze motion. And that's why you want a really powerful flash, then you dial it down in terms of power, just so that you can get a shorter flash duration and freeze motion. But obviously I couldn't do that with this tiny speed lights. So let me give you the solutions that I did. So this is the first layout that I shot and I still had the privilege of using big modifiers and my modifier of choice at that time was this one, the brand new modifier from MagMod. This is the 42 inch Octobank and I had two F60 RMs here. So the camera that I used for the entire shoot was my Sony A7 Mark IV and the lens was a 24 to 70 2.8 GM. Now I had two F60 RMs and two F45 RMs, so a total of four speed lights. Now with this first layout that I just showed you, it's relatively very simple and there is a reason for that. I wasn't really able to meet my subject prior to the shoot date. So whenever I am shooting somebody new that I haven't really built a rapport with, I would always want to do the simplest layout first to get her comfortable, number one, and number two, to find out how she is in front of the camera, to see her proper angles, and basically, really, it's just to make that subject feel comfortable in front of the camera. So the output of this particular layout is this one. So now I'm establishing that she is a figure skater. And by the way, I'm sorry I said earlier that I shot everything with my 24 to 70. I forgot that I actually used my 51.2 also, which is what I used for this particular layout. So I decided to move back and shoot at 1.2 and include this area here and the ceiling as you will see in the final image. Now, the reason why I wanted this particular area as part of the scene is because I really did like the way the red wall was translating on camera and it really had a nice contrast to the gray lockers and made her stand out even more. So with this layout, this is the final image. You could see how the ceiling turned out really nice and this red wall here was very rich and it actually tied in and framed the subject here because you have the red bench too. However, there is a problem with this particular image. You could see that you have a reflection of the light right here. So what I did was I feathered the light a little bit to remove the reflection of the light here in the lockers. And this is the final image from that layout. And by the way, all of the images that you're seeing now is straight out of the camera. Absolutely no editing has been done. That's why you could still see some minor imperfections, which I can easily remove in post. So having those very simple layouts to begin the photo session really helped a lot and we got very comfortable with each other and that's when I decided to go out on the ice to shoot the real reason on why we were there to shoot her in action. So as I said earlier, I couldn't really use my big light so I had to scrap my Magmod modifier and go with a bare flash. This is a Sony F60RM. And I had another Sony F60RM right here and two Sony F45s here held by my assistant. You could see that we had the area 
basically cordoned off for us to shoot in, but this entire area here was still open to the public and that again is the reason on why I couldn't use my big and powerful lights because it is a safety issue, especially you've got novice skaters around her. So here in this layout, we started off with a few simple moves to test how I would be able to freeze motion. So I had two flash units as you saw earlier coming from here and coming from here and I only activated one in the back just to give a nice spotlight here. So the technique that I used to freeze motion instead of using flash duration was I put my flash on high speed sync. So my settings for this particular layout onwards was basically 1 over 1000 f2.8 at ISO 400. And that's how I was able to freeze motion using just these tiny speed lights. Number one, I put my flash on high speed sync so that I can go beyond my flash sync speed and have my shutter speed at 1 over 1000, which inherently would actually stop motion already. And number two, I brought up my ISO so that I can get the most from my flash. Again, these are not really that powerful. And plus the fact that you put it on high speed sync, it really reduces the power so much. So by boosting up the ISO, I was still able to get the exposure that I wanted for this particular image. Now my exposure was based on the existing ambient light, which I wanted to dim a bit. So from here, I had another layout. You can see here, this one's a video now. Notice how she wasn't really going all out or as fast because I asked her not to really go as fast as she can because I was again limited by my gear. Again, solutions to problems, but look at the final output. So this time I decided not to have my flash here in the back and I felt that the light coming from the side was really enough just to rim the subject and show the form. And here are a few images from this particular layout. Again, you could see that the rink was already publicly open, so you can see a lot of people here in the back, which I would probably just remove in post-production. And finally, we were at the shot that I wanted to do, the shot that I envisioned. Of course, we wanted to do stop motion. We wanted to get a lot of her in action. But there's one particular pose that I wanted her to do, just very simple and having lights coming from behind her like a spotlight. And this time I did not need to stop motion. So I changed my settings now and brought my camera and my flash within my flash sync speed. So this time I shot this particular layout at 1 over 250, f4.5, now down to ISO 100. And now you could see I had my assistant back here with the flash. And I decided to just shoot Sophia while she stopped right here in the middle. And the reason why I had somebody hold on to the light and not have it on a light stand was because this time I was tweaking the light. It's either I wanted it right behind her or I wanted it to spill a little on the side to create that dramatic light coming from behind. And this image is the first image that I shot with the light directly behind her. And this smoke here was really just about luck that of course we are shooting on ice, so we would get this mist right here, but we couldn't control it. So the moment I saw it, I just started shooting. So I had the light right behind her, and then I asked my assistant to split his hands so that the light would be on the shoulders of Sophia, and this is basically the final output from that particular scene. And that's how I froze motion using these tiny speed lights. So if you guys have any questions with regards to this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And once again, if you guys want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, then do check out the rest of the videos in the channel. But if you like this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell. Now, if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.